Greetings and blessed day to you once again, people of God, is the revelator once again. And hoping the grace and the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ is with you until the end of time. Now, before we enter into today's presentation, I just want to give you a brief recap of what we covered last time. Last time, we covered the financial discipline. And inside the financial discipline, we explained about the mature riches in Christ, a level whereby when one is rich, he is rich towards the goals of Jesus Christ. And his riches, they reflect the maturity and the reflection of the kingdom of Christ. And today we want to focus on yet another presentation. And the presentation that we are focusing on today is the repentance. And inside the repentance, we want to present and focus on giving your life to Jesus Christ. I've come to understand that most people have not yet given their lives to Jesus Christ. We have presented many angles and dimensions in which we emphasize people to grow up in the spirit. We emphasize on spiritual gifts. We emphasize on quite a number of revelations revealing the deeper dimensions but today we want to emphasize on repentance but re repentance to repent it cannot happen if one is not given his life to jesus christ so for us to understand more on this presentation let's get into the book of Acts, chapter 3 verse 1 and it reads now peter and john went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer being the ninth hour and this moment is the very moment just after the disciples have received the holy spirit in the upper room and peter and john were on their way to the temple at about the ninth hour as this was their usual time and their usual routine to go to the temple to worship and to preach the word. And a certain man, lame from his mother's womb, was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple. This man was laid at the temple gate, the very place that is supposed to offer salvation, the very gate that is the entrance to salvation and this is the actual place where this man sat by the gate asking alms and all the moments when those that had been entering they would enter and pass by him and go inside the church inside the temple to receive their healing to receive their salvation but this man set by the gate and as he set by the gate he had not yet received his salvation you can be near your salvation you can be near your deliverance you can be near the presence of god but you do not have received jesus christ this man set by the gate of the temple the gate that leads to salvation the gate that leads to an environment that frees you from all bondages. And this man who was lame from his mother's birth, from the birth from his mother's womb, he sat by the beautiful gate. And this that had caused him to be lame is something that was passed on from mother to child from the mother's birth why because this is associated with the sin that dwells inside the mother and the scripture says he was lame from birth meaning that this was something that was inside the blood something that needed the blood of jesus and peter and john 
were entering into the temple. And Peter, upon looking at this man, he stared in his eyes upon him with John. And they said, Look at us. And he gave it unto them, expecting to receive something of them. What it means is that this man is used to a gospel of being given the material things. Why? Because while he is set at the beautiful gate, what he was used to asking for was money. He would be given coins. What this young man, what this man is used to is being given something that is material for they would pass by and throw coins. They would offer him something that is material. But this time, Peter and John who represent the heaven are about to enter into the temple and they've got something that is different from what this man has been offered. You have gone to different churches and all that you have received is a gospel that is material. All that you have received is something that is material, but you have not received something that will change your life from within. And this man, he looked at Peter and John, hoping that they were going to offer him something, and he hoped that he was going to receive something. Then Peter said unto him, Silver and gold I have none, but such as I have, I give. When Peter said, Silver and gold I have none, it does not mean that the apostles were broke. Remember, in one scripture in the book of Acts, the people actually came and throw money at the apostles' feet. So we can never say, when Peter says, silver and gold I have learned, it does not mean that the apostles were broke. It means the apostles knew the right thing to give at the right time. And the apostles know that this man does not need any money. What this man needs to be addressed inside his life is a different gospel. And what different gospel? What different product is Peter and John? What product is Peter ready to offer this man? Then Peter said, silver and gold I have none, but as such that I have, I give. And he said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. I need you to understand something. Before healing is ministered unto this man, he is given a name. A name that is great above all names. And the name that is being given to this man is not just a name that heals, but it is the name that is ought to be received upon one's life. It is a name that is supposed to be received into one's life. It is a name that is supposed to be received by one to repent. Before we talk about repentance, Peter has got the greatest deliverance that he offers the man that was at the beautiful gate. And the first category of deliverance that he offers the man that was at the beautiful gate is the deliverance of repentance giving him Jesus Christ, giving him one that was crucified on the cross, giving him the name, the name that will change his life. Before we can ever talk about the man, the man being lame from birth, before we can talk about the man being lame because of the sin inside the mother's blood, what is now needed is a name that will break every case. What is now needed is a name that will convert his life. What is now needed is a name that will transform his life. What is needed is now a name that will reform his life. Why? Because if Peter just ministers healing, 
that healing is going to be temporary. If Peter just ministers deliverance, that deliverance is going to be short-lived. What Peter has offered to this man who is seated at the beautiful gate is a process in the life of a Christian. And it is the process of repentance. And the process of repentance is the process that includes the name of Jesus. And Peter looked inside his eyes upon him with John standing beside. And when they looked inside his eyes and he also gave it, he expected to receive something that is physical. This is the mentality that many now have when they go to church. This is now the mentality that many have when they enter the presence of God. They enter the presence of God hoping to receive something that is material. Such as the man that was seated at the beautiful gate. Yes, he was lame. Yes, he was crippled. Yes, you go to church because you have got financial problems. Yes, you go to church because of marriage issues. Yes, you go to church because you want this and that to be ministered. Yes, you go to church because you want this area in your life to be delivered. But have you received Jesus Christ in your life? Have you received the Lord as your Savior? Have you repented? And Peter looked into his eyes and says, In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, silver and gold i have none when peter says silver and gold i have none he's trying to say sometimes people go to church and they hope that they receive a certain product that is worthy they go to church hoping that they receive the materialization in their life they go to church hoping that maybe they will be consoled by jesus through being given a breakthrough of financial deliverance but your problem will always be there until you receive jesus christ the man at the beautiful gate is lame and crippled since he was born and what he needs is healing that will make him stand from where he was seated the man that was at the beautiful gate he needs something that is tangible he needs the apostles to put to put money in the pledge what the christian of today needs to see is something that is material something that is practical what the man at the beautiful gate was waiting for was to see the money being put into the pledge what the man at the beautiful gate expected was to see something that is tangible. He wanted to see something that is practical, something that is instant. But there is something that is greater than all that when you go to church. There is something that is greater than that when you are in the presence of God. There is something that is greater than that when you are now in the presence of the apostles that were chosen and anointed by the Holy Spirit, that were chosen by Jesus. And Peter said, silver and gold i have none but i have something that is great something that is going to change your life you need to receive the name of jesus and peter says in the name of jesus christ of nazareth rise up and walk after giving him the name that will assure his repentance after giving him the name that will assure that his life will never go backwards after giving him the name that will make sure that his life will move forward for good automatically that name is associated with many packages of healing automatically that name is associated with even your financial deliverance Automatically, that name that is great above all other names is associated with all the things that you ever need. And upon being given that name of Jesus, which is the name that assures also his repentance, he received also his healing. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. I need to explain this part. When Peter took him by the right hand and lifted him up. There are Christians that need to be lifted up by the right hand. There are Christians that need to be helped so that they get up. Why? Because there are people that have gone deep, deep into the deeper darkness of life. There are people that have gone so deep into the world and they need to be assisted so that they are brought back to Jesus. You don't bribe them. 
when they come in the presence of God and you pro you 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 promise them riches, you promise them prosperity, you don't promise them what they have been getting in the world. Some people are already rich in the world, material. Some people already have the materialization. What they are lacking inside their lives is Jesus. This is the corruption that is happening in the church of Jesus Christ. We have people in the world that are already materialized. And when they come to church, they expect you to get a better product. They expect you to get something that is more worthy than any other thing that they have not received in the world. And when they come in the presence of God, you start preaching the material prosperity. This is not what they need. I explained in the financial discipline that in the world, we have men, the likes of Warren Buffett. I explained about the likes of Elon Musk. I explained about even the late Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple, the CEO, who died and left billions. I will not mention about many other billionaires who have committed suicide. I'm not going to talk about many other millionaires and billionaires who have got a miserable life. Why? Because they lack something that cannot be purchased by money. They lack something that cannot be made. And that thing that cannot be made that cannot be brought to existence by money is the name that is above every other name the name of jesus and he standing up after being lifted up and immediately his feet and ankle and bones received strength he received strength upon being assisted to get up meaning that we have a category of christians that need to be lifted up they need our assistance they need our assistance by giving them the word they need our assistance in giving them the counseling they need our patience so that they can get up from where they are they can live the deeper darkness of life they can live the activities of the world and they can come back to jesus christ and they knew that it was he which set for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him. Why? Because all this time, the man that was seated at the beautiful gate, all that he was receiving was material things. But the material things that he was receiving, they were not sufficient for his healing. They continued giving him temporary deliverance in terms of money money is not going to give you temporary deliverance it's just going to assure you of the next day money is not going to wash away your sins money is not going to heal you from all your sins money is not going to deliver you from your miseries money is not going to give you repentance money is not going to give you reformation money is not going to give you transformation you need the name of jesus child of god I'm here to give you the name of Jesus. I'm here to give you the name that is above all other names. I'm here to give you the name that can never be defeated by any other name. The name of Jesus. Leproso demosita. Shiko prakosida. Moshi prakosida. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Leproso demosita. Every one of the servants, every one of the disciples, every one of your children that are listening to this presentation, I'm praying right now, wherever you are, raise your hands wherever you are and be prepared to receive the name that is above every other name, the name that will assure you repentance, the name that will assure your salvation. The name that will assure that you enter the next life. The name that will assure that you get the healing, the deliverance, the salvation. The name that will assure that you see the next life. The name that will not bribe you with the temporary riches. The name that will not bribe you with the temporary prosperity. In the name of Jesus.